term coefficient seems to be drifting out of popularity with, with the younger crowd, so I'm just going to give you a quick uh, review on that. Uh, if you have a polynomial, we'll call it P of X, and I'm just making up one right here. Uh, let's say we have P of X is equal to uh, whatever, uh, 4X squared uh, plus some other stuff. And let's say the very last term is um, 7x to the 18th power. So this, the 7 right here is what we call a coefficient. 4 is a coefficient as well, all right? But 7 would be the coefficient of x to the 18th just in this arbitrary uh, polynomial. So we're supposed to find the coefficient of x to the 18th for this function, this innocent-looking function uh, composed with itself. Okay, so let's take a look and see how that might go. All right, now, uh, f of f of x literally remain, uh, means this, okay? Now, um, it's one thing that's important to notice right here is that we'll, we'll, we'll utilize the fact that something raised to the fourth power is equal to that something squared. Squared is simple uh, truth of of exponents, right? Okay, so again, this is just really the definition here. f of f of x means this because you have a square here and a square here. x gets replaced with f of x in both cases, okay? So a lot of you who've done this a lot wouldn't even write this step down, but teaching people this, you should show them this step. Okay, now, right here, f of x squared, that's pretty easy to see, that's just x squared uh, plus um, x to the fourth uh, quantity squared, right? Okay. Now, so what we do is we utilize this fact right here. We already know what uh, f of x squared is, and so that's what we have to do on this next step. And this is where all the work comes in. It's not substantial amount of work, but it is work nonetheless, more than you might think. Okay, so um, here we go. And again, I'm writing down some obvious things here. You can rewrite this in this fashion, of course. And then, y'all, what you do is you, there's nothing called, uh, foil is common, but what do we want to call this? We can call this troil if you want, T-R-O-I-L. But what it is, is just, you're just doing the distributive property here, folks. Uh, and again, a lot of you have your own tricks or memorized way of doing this. But this is really, if you go back to first principles, how you would do it, right? So in other words, I'll just underline these guys right here like this, and you would apply the distributive property. You would apply the distributive property uh, in this fashion. All right, and y'all, this is just a bunch of algebra bashing. I'm not gonna go through every single one of the steps, but when you expand all this out, you would get this right here. Now, mind you, that's just this part right here, so we would have to add this back to it, and that's what I do here on the very next line. Okay, I added them all up and double-checked it. And notice we ended up with two copies of x to the 8th here. Okay? So down here, I just rewrote that, the 2x to the 8th right here. But lo and behold, folks, what were we supposed to find? We're supposed to find uh, the coefficient of x to the 18th. Oh, no. So i got to cheat on you. I don't see an x to the 18th in here anywhere, but we can do this. 0 times x to the 18th. Wasn't that nasty? Yeah, deceptive problem. Some math is based on uh, deception, unfortunately. So, unless I've made a mistake in here, folks, the answer to the question is 0. Uh, the coefficient, and some of you may have surmised that, you know, but uh, the coefficient of x to the 18th is 0. Okay. Yeah, I know it was dirty of me. So I'll smile. Answer the question is the coefficient is zero. Yeah, I know. If math isn't already hard enough. Thanks for viewing.